everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Decision Hour. I'm Adam. With me, as always, Patty. Adam. How's it going? Hey, it's going good. I, How are you? I'm good. You know, it's funny. I'm sitting here. Re- I'm doing this opening. We have the same opening because I me- remember you mentioning that. At least we're consistent on this, though. That's true. Everybody's like, you have the same opening every yeah. time. Yeah. It's yeah, it's I mean, not. I, and it, here's the cool thing. It's not pre. That part of it is not pre-recorded. No, it's not. It's, and you it's, know. And I have just happened to be having a good day when we record, so. And I, yeah. yes, and that, it, but I love it. I love the fact that we get to sit down and do our show. We're blessed uh, very much that we get this opportunity to uh, bless all of our listeners with uh, our <laughs> no- <laughs> knowledge We're blessing and, you all. Yeah, and, <laughs> and wittiness. So you're welcome, everybody. And no, I'm kidding. Thank you for uh, for listening uh, to us, make sure you share the show as much as possible. Uh, Patty, why don't you tell everybody what we're going to be talking about today? Okay, so the month of April, which is when we're recording this, is all about um, stress awareness. It's stress awareness month. A Ooh. lot of people don't recognize that. So we thought it was really important to talk to you about what is stress, what are the signs and symptoms of stress, and what are some things that you can do to overcome some of that stress? Yeah, man. I mean, how often do people get stressed, you know, yeah, like on a daily, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't even realize that other people are stressed when you're talking with them. A lot of times, like Adam's like, how are you doing? And I'm like, good. Sometimes that's just a surface good. On the the outside, on the inside. Doing good. I mean, like, if you tell yourself you're doing bad, you're really screwed. So I like to say I'm doing good. <laughs> I mean, it could always be worse, right? Well, yeah, oh, absolutely. I, you know, it, it's crazy. I stress out about some of the, in my opinion, I stress about dumb stuff. But some stuff that's important, um, like me, it's it's like financial. And that's usually all I stress about, usually. It's like, oh, you got you know, kids going to a private school, you got this, you got this, you got the, you know, whatever. It, it's all small stuff when... When you break it down and think about it, it, it's it's small. Do you know what I mean? And it, it yeah. and life is too short. But <clears throat> I don't want to I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. What are mm-hmm. some? Um, how, yeah, let me ask you this, Patty. Do you recognize when you're feeling stressed? What, oh yeah. What are I'm some probably... of the what are what are some of the symptoms that you see, or how do, how does that affect you when you start stressing out? Okay, so I'll go back. I actually have had a lot of like pretty major stress in my life. Um, And I think that's why I try to stay so positive so it doesn't suck me down. Mm -hmm. But um, when my mom, for instance, had cancer and my dad was not doing well with it and my my dad tried to commit suicide, like it was all this crazy, horrible stuff because my parents were together for like 50 years. Um, Yeah, it was horrible. Um, I kept trying to be positive for my parents, you know, and I was there for them as much as I could be. But some of the symptoms that I had were even like things like I would break out, you know, um, like in a rash or hives or like acne, I would break out. Yeah. Or like, um, I had a hard time sleeping or, um, I, just didn't feel myself. One, one good thing is it's kind of weird. So while my parents were going through all that, they would always tell me like, we don't want you to be stressed about it. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know, like, right. um, but it was really hard. And my, and my dad would try to explain to me, well, you know, we, your mom and I have been together for a long time. So there, I don't know, there were a lot of issues at play, but I still, I was tired. I, it was just really wearing on me. Um, I think a lot of it was, um, my sleep schedule, definitely. Um, but at the same time, I knew that I had to not let the stress suck me down so bad because I also had a family at home to take care of as well, not just my parents. So, um, yeah, I mean, so those were some of my, my symptoms. Um, so if, um, I don't know if I'm tired, sometimes I'm stressed. If I, even eating patterns. Sometimes I didn't feel like eating very much. Sometimes I felt like eating a cake. <laughs> I hope that eating is not one of my stressors because I'm constantly eating. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah. I mean, there's, there's 11 key stressors. I'll read it just super yeah, fast. Yeah. We don't. So acne, headaches, chronic pain, frequent sickness, 
decreased energy and insomnia, changes of libido, digestive issues, appetite changes, depression, rapid heartbeat and sweating. So those are just some of them. Yeah. Um, I know like some people would get panic attacks and so, I mean like there's a lot of other things, but yeah, yeah I, I, I get depressed mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's hard for me to say that because I don't like opening up about it. But that's I, I I get depressed. Um, eating eating patterns don't necessarily happen with me because I just eat, as everybody knows. Uh, if you've listened to the show at all, but I um and and decreased energy. Like I, there's times where you just feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, you know, and mm -hmm. and you. I, I'll sit down and I'll I'll start getting stressed when I see all the things that I I want to get done, and I, let me be clear: things that I want to get done, not necessarily have to get done right then and there. It's what I want to get done, and I put so much pressure on myself that when I look at it, hey, this has to get done today, and if I don't get it done, I feel like I failed at it, and that and then I put that pressure on myself, and then I it 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 adds more stress to me. I start getting depressed. And then all of a sudden, nothing nothing gets done because I'm looking at this list that I've made in my head. That, that how how can I possibly get any of this all of this done at once? And instead of picking one or two things, which you should do, and just knock those out, mm -hmm. I end up almost dwelling on the entire list, and then nothing gets done. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, after working with veterans that have um, post traumatic stress for such a long time, one of the things that um, work for especially my husband and then a lot of his friends is they literally would pick one key thing a day to do. And he has a brain injury too. So this is why, but, um, one thing a day that he can get done and he does it like he focuses on it and he does it. And then if he gets that done, then you can move on to something else, but always one day, one thing a day, at least that's major to get done is good. Um, also I know, People really um, are different. So, for instance, you, it's overwhelming for you to have a list of things to get done. For me, I literally write a list of things, and it helps me to get things done and not focus on my stressor. So wow. that's my way of coping. So everybody is a lot different. Yeah, and I think I think the biggest thing is you got, first and foremost, you have to recognize when you're you're starting to feel stressed or, or that you're getting close to it before you're full-blown stressed. Like if you feel feel like there's that stress coming on and, and there's there's in stressors could be really anything it could be you know paying bills it could be making sure you're on work on time or or, or whatever it, it's the stressors are going to be different for everybody right mm -hmm. dealing with it is also going to be um different I, I know one of the things that I that I started to do. Um, I have a, a life coach that I've I've worked with for many years, and and uh, actually there's a couple of them that I've I've worked with, and one of them it always said try deep breathing exercises, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> that was hard for me to do because I'm I'm very I'm kind of antsy, you know I, I kind of got to be doing something all the time, mm -hmm. and it was just sit down for ten minutes and practice deep breathing. And I mean like really deep and clear your thoughts. And I'm a very visual person. So when I'm clearing my thoughts, it's like picturing uh, – this is going to sound really funny. And I'm sure some of you will probably laugh at this. But I will sit down. I'll try to keep my back straight. And I'll close my eyes. And I'll take an inhale through my nose. And when I inhale, I try to picture like, you know, the little positive signs. You know, mm -hmm. like little green positive signs. Like I'm inhaling all these green positive signs. In my body, and then when I exhale, I try to imagine that I'm exhaling red negative signs. Hmm. Isn't that? It, it sounds. <laughs> even no, saying it out loud kind of sounds. It's funny to me, but like when I inhale, I picture that I'm inhaling these green positive signs through my feet, through my head, and in through my nose, and it's wrapping. A, it's like when I when I inhale it's those positive signs are going around my heart and then when i exhale it's exhaling all the negativity out of my body mm -hmm. and and i'm pushing it out like I'm, I'm i'm letting out go of that negativity because i'm focusing on the positive things does that make mm -hmm. sense 
Yeah, that's good. And it's kind of like a body scan. You know, if you sit there and you do a body scan, you go from your feet all the way up to your head and you just kind of start relaxing every single muscle in your body. And I, I do that pretty often. I, I am huge into massage. I love massage. It, I carry tension so much in my shoulders and my neck and my upper back that I can tell when I'm stressed. Like, um, and it's really, really hard to find, um, like a good massage therapist. So once you find one, stick with that. And I wish insurance would cover that. That's my wish of the day. (laughs) Um, but besides that, you know, try to get enough sleep. I was just talking to a friend and we should have a whole show on this. I just thought of it is um, sleep, making your bedroom a retreat area that you can go and feel so comfortable in and sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you listen to music or anything like that? Like waterfalls or like, like the ocean or, I mean, you're kind of down in in Florida, you're near water anyway, but like anything that's like, I don't know. I totally lost where I was going with that. Like before, like before I noises. go to sleep, I, I actually have a sound maker in my room because, um, my house is sort of noisy in the evening when I go to bed. Yeah. Um, because like Ken will be watching TV or the kids get up for a midnight snack. So I turn on, um, a noise machine. It's just like a white noise and I sleep with that on and it's helping. Um, but as far as listening to something, I love to go to the ocean. Um, Love it, love it, love it. I haven't gone as much. So, not good. you yeah. you you'd shared a a um a website, and, and those of you that are that are listening to the show, you're already on uh, the internet right now. Uh, open up another browser <clears throat> and go to adaa.org. It's the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. So if you're if you're feeling stressed or you got some anxiety uh, and whatnot. You know, check this out. There, there's some good tips here when you're feeling anxious or stressed. Um, exercise daily. That's another thing I want to bring up real quick. One of the things that I've really started doing for for many years. I I was a, in my in my twenties and and whatnot. I was a gym rat. I, I used to go to the gym sometimes twice a day. And later on in life, you know, late twenties, early, basically throughout my entire thirties, I stopped doing that. Every now and then, I would I would go to the gym. It was hit or miss. I try to religiously go to the gym at a bare minimum three days a week now. You know, I'm in my 40s. I, I you know, uh, and and my health is <clears throat> something that I'm taking more seriously now. And one of the things that helps me is like going to lift weights, and whether it's heavy or just doing a lot of reps, and then doing at least 30 minutes of cardio. And I have noticed that. I, I think more clear, 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 clear. I think more clearly, excuse me. Um, and I get more stuff done when I have the opportunity to go to the gym in the morning. And I'm, and I'm more, more of a morning person when it comes to the gym, not an afternoon guy. And I've tried, uh, and I've tested this myself where for me, it's different. You might be an afternoon person, whatever, but find something that kind of gets you, um, away from and let, and just, uh, it's an opportunity to whatever's bothering you is like work it out of your system. You know what I mean? So you can, you can think clear, clearly. I keep saying, that. I don't know why I do that. Um, another one here says count to 10 slowly. I used to say one, two, three, what the hell is bothering me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. See, I don't, I don't count. I like take deep breaths. I'll walk away. Um, just, I get, I'll sidetrack myself with something else. That's definitely, I, um, yeah. I'll be like 110. Okay. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> 110. We're going to, ah. uh, um, yeah. Um, what, tr- learn what triggers your anxiety. That's huge because that can be really helpful. Talk to somebody that's super important. So I like, I, I don't talk to very many people, especially about something that's bothering me. Like that just, it doesn't happen. That's something I would, I need to work on. I maybe, maybe work on, I don't know. I'm just not comfortable with it. It, It's it's tough because you, I, I think like when you start talking about your problems and stuff like that, you don't want, I'm always worried. Oh, I don't want this person to get the perception that I'm just bitching there or or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. However, 
by expressing how you're feeling and asking somebody to, to like listen, you let them like listen. I'm just going through a hard spot. I just need to vent. You don't know like that person may be or may have gone through the way that you're feeling or whatnot, and they might give you some perspective on how to to get through what it is that you're going through right now. And it, it could be a big, big help. I've I've noticed that talking about it or talking through it with some people that I trust, uh, uh, talking to things about is, is, is a lot of the times those pr- people will be like, hey, they'll just like, listen, I, I get it. You're just having a bad day. Think about this, do this or, or whatever. And it, it kind of, it calms me. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a, I mean, I really struggle with talking to people about any of my problems. Like it doesn't it happen. I think, I think because I've, I have been through quite a bit and I don't want to bring anybody down. Right. So my, my grandma used to say a phrase, que sera, sera, um, whatever will be, will be basically is what that means. Mm-hmm. And so when I get really stressed, I just think that in my head, like, que sera, sera, okay, whatever will be, it's going to be, and just keep moving on. Like, I don't need to focus on that problem. I don't need to talk about it because if I talk about it too, like I'll get stuck there. I don't want to get stuck there in that problem. Right. You know, here's the other thing is just like you really it, – it, it's funny, not like funny haha, but it's funny where if something happens and you're getting stressed out about stuff. And a lot of the times it's a situation that you have no control over anyway. Almost 90 – what? I don't know. I'm it throwing was, a statistic it, I, yeah, out here. Yeah, but, but it's, it's like if you, if you think about it is if you're in a situation – you get stressed over a situation, you, you first thing you should ask yourself, what control over it do you have? First mm-hmm. off, because if you have no control over the situation at all, the only the only control that you have is your reaction to the situation, right? Yeah. And so a lot of times it rectifies itself. Yeah. It, it, so it's like, and, and here's here's the other thing that people, as as we we I don't want to say fail to understand, but it's like a lot of the time these situations that happen are only temporary too. Mm-hmm. Life yeah. life is is short as it is, right? A- average life lifespan for for a male uh, is about eighty three to eighty four years, um, statistically, uh, give or take a few years. Uh, mm-hmm. Women, it's a little bit more. Um, if you if you're in, if you find yourself stressing out about a situation, whatever the situation is, you got to ask yourself first off: Do you have control over it? One. Two, is it going to matter in a year from now, six months from now, five years from now, whatever the case may be? And if the answer is no, then why are you stressing about it? Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I told Adam on Tuesday this week, I was so stressed about something. I talked to three different people about trying to figure out how to fix this problem. And at the end of the day, the problem fixed itself. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. So that the whole day for like so many hours I spent trying to work on one thing. And at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Yeah, it, it, was all it, fixed. It, it, it doesn't matter. So what do you do? What happens when you stress out about something is that you end up wasting a lot of time and a lot of energy over something that you might not have full control over anyway. Yeah. So what's the point of stressing about it then? So what are some of the things you guys who are listening, what are some of the things that you do to relieve stress and what, I mean, what's working for you? What works for you the best and what do you need to work on? I want to hear about that too. Yeah. So when, 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 uh, when you, after you guys listen to this, go to our Facebook page, go to our Instagram page. Uh, you can look it up. It's the, the decision hour, all one word on Facebook and on Instagram and leave a comment. Leave a comment in the bottom and, and what are, you know, sh- if you're willing to sh- either share whatever stresses you out or share how you relieve stress, uh, how do you relieve stress or cope with stress? We we want to hear from you. So, um, Patty, we're getting close to time here. What what other things do we want to talk about with stress? I mean, I think that we've covered it well, Adam. Yeah. I think, I think overall, I think the message that Patty and I are trying to you know, did the message that we're trying to share with you today is that your dis, your decision hour should be don't stress. 
I mean, you're going to come under stressful situations, though. We yep. get that. Yeah. So when you do stress, I hope you use those tips that we talked about to relieve some of that stress. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, we're, we're up on time uh, for today. We, As always, Patty and I always appreciate you guys uh, reaching out to us, uh, listening. Make sure you share the show. Uh, if you got uh, things that you would like to hear, you can reach us out on, on social media or you can email us at thedecisionhour at gmail.com. Uh, big shout out to Heroes Media Group, uh, our home network. We appreciate everything that uh, everybody's doing over there. Go check them out and all the uh, great shows that are going on over there, www.heroesmediagroup.com. Uh, Patty, any parting words? Man, Adam, nothing like put me on the spot here. <laughs> He asks me this every week and I'm like, oh, we're done. And I'm like, we're not done. Um, yes, definitely go to our social media. Check it out. If you hear this show, the top or the next, the first person who tells me that they heard this show, is going to get a $5 gift card from Starbucks and the email and e-gift card. What? So, yeah. That's awesome. So make sure you guys hey, reach out. All right. Reach out. Thanks, Patty. Appreciate it. Uh, for Patty, I'm Adam. Until next time, you've been listening to The Decision Hour.